Hello everybody. The eruption here in Iceland is not taking any naps, and it makes it very clear. Yet another fissure opened at 3 am tonight, making the total number of fissures 4. It could be seen on MPH's livestream camera, so if any of you guys were watching that camera at that time and saw it, you just witnessed something not many people witness. People were not allowed to access the site after 9 pm tonight, but if you were already at the site before that, you could stay until 12 pm. Today, a lot of people visited the newly formed fissure and could get up very close, and some people took quite the risks as you can see in this image. But as always, of course, no one got hurt. Gas pollution took a stroll downtown today in the capital as the weather conditions were favorable for it, but the amounts were barely enough for you to feel anything, unless you had some underlying weaknesses to it. As I'm recording this video, news rolled in of a man being rescued by the Coast Guard's helicopter off the trail in serious conditions. I will update you on that when more information is given. As of now, we have little to no details on the newly formed fissure, or any new data whatsoever, but there is still some interesting stuff to talk about. Here you can see the time lapse of the new fissure opening at 3 am tonight from MPH's livestream camera. It opened in the middle of the newer fissures, continuing the straight line the fissures have been opening in. You can see it clearly in this aerial view over here. Inside the red area is where the fissures are expected to have a chance at opening. This new one is most likely the second smallest fissure after the one that opened on the 7th of April. The unrest has not been decreasing after all of these fissures have opened, implying that more fissures could be opening very soon, like we've been seeing recently. The earthquakes continue to bombard the north end of the magma dike, making it very clear that something is going on there. We don't know for sure what it is, but there are no definitive signs that the magma is going to surface there, so far up north. It could just be changes in the surface due to the magma there hardening, or it could just be breaking up after all, who knows. But since the eruption doesn't seem to want to walk off the stage, you could still have a chance at seeing a fissure open live, so don't be afraid to check now and then. But what can we expect in the next coming days? Well, there are a lot of signs pointing towards another fissure opening very soon. The most recent fissure didn't open further to the north where we thought another fissure would open. That does not mean a fissure will not open there. It did most likely not have any effect on that scenario, which means that the possibility of the next fissure opening there are rather high. It could go unnoticed since the cameras are not pointed that far north. But what about the south of the original fissures? That area has been very quiet ever since the beginning, but that means nothing, since these fissures give no signs before they open, other than visual gas and steam. But if you look at the pattern of the fissures, we can see that they've been moving to the north, then to the south, then again to the north, etc. The newest fissure opened to the north of the fissure before, which fits the pattern. If we take that into account, the next fissure could open somewhere in the areas marked in red, with one being more favorable for the cameras. But this is pure speculations, and until we get new data, it will be fun to see how this ages. That's it for now, if you enjoyed the video you could leave a like since that will help others find it too, and if you want to tune in to the next video, you could consider subscribing, so you don't miss it. Hope to see most of you next time, and thanks for watching.